If you think a Lotus shouldn't be an SUV, well, you are in luck because the all-new Lotus MER is now here in Malaysia from 555,000 ringgit. Now, even though this might not be an SUV anymore, Lotus purists might still want to look away because this here still weighs over 2.5 tonnes. But the good news is, it is supercar level fast across all three variants. The two low-end variants, the MEA and MEA-S, comes with a dual-motor setup giving you 612 horsepower and 710 Nm of torque for a 0 to 100 km per hour sprint time of 4.2 seconds. On the MARR, the two motors are uprated even more and it also now gets a two-speed gearbox to give it 918 horsepower and 985 Nm of torque. That means 0 to 100 km per hour is just under 2.78 seconds. All three variants are equipped with the same 102 kWh battery pack, giving them a 610 km range on the base MARR, 540 on the S and 435 on the R. Charging takes about 5.5 hours using the onboard 22kW AC charger and it also takes DC power of up to 350kW. So 10 to 80% charge on this car takes just 18 minutes. In terms of design, the MEA here also gets the same porosity concept that was first seen on the Elettra. That means a lot of holes and vents for its aerodynamic performance. There's also a lot of active aerodynamic devices like those holes down there on the grill that will open up if the car needs cooling but otherwise will be closed down for better aerodynamic. All the way underneath the car, there's also something called Active Air Dam that works together with the active rear spoiler and the diffuser to give this car more downforce when you need it. But when you don't, everything will just close back up and it'll be super slippery in the air with a drag coefficient of just 0.21. As standard, you get 20-inch wheels on the normal MAR and 21-inch on the SNR, but you can always upgrade to larger items if you want. Now, on the two higher-end variants, you also get larger brakes, which are also upgradable to carbon ceramic items. Now, in case you want to differentiate between the three variants, you can look out for all of the carbon fibre bits on the Emiah R, so you can know who sprung for the more expensive variant. Well, in case if you're wondering what this and that thing is, these are actually deployable LiDAR sensors for its advanced driver assistance features. Inside here, it really is pretty much identical to the Elettra because you get the same dashboard design with a unique ambient lighting strip across. You get the same letterbox style instrument cluster display and the passenger display. You get the same head-up display and most importantly, you also get this same 15.1 inch touchscreen infotainment display that controls pretty much everything inside this car. Now, this screen here actually has a lot of nice animations and that's because this here is actually built on a game engine. Now, like all luxury cars, the Lotus Emiya can also be optioned with a ton of luxury goodies. You get options like better speakers from KEF, you get this panoramic glass roof with electrochromic options, you can even opt for powered doors, and if you want, even a four-seater option that comes with two individual seats at the back with a center console and even a touchscreen control panel. The Lotus MER starts from 555,000 ringgit for the base MER, moving up to 643,000 for the S and 777,000 ringgit for the MER R. All of this obviously before your options. It's covered by a 5 year or 150,000 km vehicle warranty as well as an 8 year or 200,000 km battery warranty. For more information on the all new Lotus MER, do log on to Autobus.my.